Welcome to our Security Management Processes module. It is important that you collect and record security process data. This will help you to maintain your situational awareness, provide accountability and show due care and due diligence, help you to manage accounts properly, to provision or set up new accounts, control users' access to resources, and deprovision the accounts when the user is no longer with the company. You should also monitor for privilege escalation where an individual is able to obtain more privileges than they should have. You should have management controls in place for training and security awareness and make sure that you are documenting these types of activities so that you can show due care and due diligence. You should make sure that you are planning for any type of undesired events with disaster recovery plans and business continuity planning. Make sure that you're validating your controls to make sure they're functioning properly and also make sure that you have the ability to restore usable data from your backups and also determine the RTO or the recovery time objective so you know how long it will take you to recover this data. You should also have your management staff perform reviews of your key performance and risk indicators to ensure that you're meeting your goals and locate areas of improvement. Information Security Continuous Monitoring, or ISCM, is the process of maintaining ongoing awareness of your information security, your vulnerabilities, and any threats to support your organization's risk management decisions. Your program should be established to collect information in accordance with your predetermined metrics and utilize the information that's available through your security controls. This could be either strictly internal monitoring performed by your administrators, or you could hire an outside agency to perform the monitoring as part of a Management as a Service, or MAAS. You'll have to determine which resources you want to focus on monitoring, as well as how often you will monitor them. You will have to consider security control volatility, the categorizations or impact levels of your systems, the criticality to your systems, any weaknesses that you've identified, your organizational risk tolerance, any threat information that you may have, vulnerability information, results of risk assessments that you have conducted, and any reporting requirements. It is very important that you effectively manage risk in your organization to prevent incidents from occurring or at least minimize the damage caused by an incident. You should test for any deficiencies and weaknesses in your backup procedures, and you should have policies in place to make sure that restore testing is done regularly to make sure that your backup systems are functioning properly. You should have training and awareness for your organization's personnel to make sure that they know how to carry out their assigned responsibilities and that they know how to respond if an incident occurs. You should also have plans in place and prepare for incidents. An incident response plan will help you to respond to incidents. Disaster recovery plans and continuity of operations plans will help you to make sure that your business continues to function even in the event of a disaster. You should make sure that training is performed so that employees know what to do when an incident occurs and also make sure that you have an alternate site available in case you experience a disaster that destroys your primary site. You should also make sure that your employees know how to restore all of your data at the new site and you should regularly verify the integrity of your backups to make sure that you are backing up all critical data and make sure that the backups are functioning properly in case you need them after an incident. This concludes our security management processes module. Thank you for watching. Thank you.